All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and today we have a very interesting topic. Uh, you know, some of you, they sent me a video of uh, a person from Korea. He's a young kid, and looked like the Muslims did it uh, for him, and they made him convert to Islam. His name, his name, I think now he changed his name. He called himself Dawood Kim. And, uh, you know, I'm not against the person, by the way. It's a free choice to do whatever you want. Uh, you want to be a Muslim, Buddha, Hindu, whatever you want. But, you know, I'm here trying to save this person because obviously they did lie to him about every single thing he believed in right now. And this is what I want from everybody. I'm making this video and it might be a little bit long so don't post it as it is take from his video something he said and show the opposite in my video let us help this poor kid and not only him the korean people so they will not be misleaded why he became a muslim he answered and he told us why let us listen 80% of questions were why did you become a Muslim? Today I want to answer this. My converting in Anigo reverting story. Okay, then here we go. How I became a Muslim without Kim. Uh, unfortunately, my first memory of Islam was 911. At that time, I was really young, like eight years old. I watched a huge building collapse on TV. I was really shocked and that time I heard the word Islam on TV. So that was the first time I heard the word Islam. I don't know well but I thought Islam is dangerous because media always show the negative images about Islam. War, oppression, terrorism. So I also thought that they are dangerous and strict. A lot of time passed. Actually I was a Catholic but I didn't interest in any religion. I was just busy at living my life. But my bad thinking about Islam completely broke down one day in Indonesia. I debuted as a singer in Korea. I was not popular but <laughs> still. And luckily I got a chance to have a promotion in Jakarta. But I didn't know about Islam that time, so I even didn't know that there were so many Muslim people in Indonesia. I really didn't know that. Actually, two things made me so surprised. First, they were really kind than I expected. And second is that so many girls are covering their faces with bells. I didn't even know the word hijab. And you know, Indonesia is really hot country, so I was so curious. So I asked a girl who wear hijab, why? Are you wearing scarf on your face? Did someone force you? And he said, I'm a diamond. Incredibly precious. So Thank you. So uh, Mr. Kim, he said many things here. And he said that he heard from the media that Islam is about terrorism. My friend, Islam, Islam is about terrorism. Let me show you. If we go right now in the Quran, and I hope people who will... Uh, make the video later if you speak korean please do us do your people a favor and help the korean people so this kid will mislead them will not mislead them he is a victim himself he himself is misleaded if i type the word terror in the quran what i will find we will find that allah he says it clearly he will install terror in the heart of anyone who don't believe in islam chapter 3 verse number 151 we will cast terror in the heart of the unbelievers so the media did not even tell you the truth actually the media always defend islam they say as an example the media you are talking about cnn they say al qaeda don't present islam isis does not present islam but the fact the quran does the quran present islam does allah present islam does muhammad present islam if we go right now to the same chapter in the korean language let us see What the Korean will translate this sentence? I will take the Korean translation, which is made by Muslims, obviously, and I will paste in Google translation. I don't speak Korean, as you know. I wish I do. Copy, paste. Translation, let's do it to English. To English. Translation to English, all right. God will cause fear. You see how the liars, they, they fool you? The word terror became fear. 
The word terror became fear. Let us do this. I will switch and I will change the language from English to Arabic. And then I will copy the verses from the Quran as it is from Arabic. Be my witness. Copy and then paste. This is the Arabic text and this is your Korean translation. Huh? It says no connection. Here we go. I, I don't know what it says there, but it should say terror. So Allah, he is the one who ignite the Muslims to do terror. And those who say to you that Islam is about peace, they are a bunch of liars. Now let me ask you. Is Muhammad a good person? Is he a terrorist or he is a good Muslim? Because according to you, Muslims are nice, etc. By the way, I have no problem to say that because yes, there is many Muslims are nice, but this is not real Muslims. Real Muslims is the one who follow Muhammad order. As an example, if we go right now and we check in the Hadith, which is your the, the prophet of Islam words, not my words, and I type the word terror, you will see that Muhammad saying, I was victorious by terror. Do you see it? And this is a very sahih hadith. How he was victorious? Not by wisdom, not by the speeches he make, not by convincing people to, to join Islam. No, I was victorious. See the translation here is false. It says, I was being helped by terror. Okay, how Muhammad was helped by terror? For he is a terrorist. If we take this words, actually let us do this. I will take this, uh, I will use Google Translation. Uh, I will translate the whole page, hold on, give me a second. I will translate the whole page. This is the page as it is as you see and i will use google translation i will tra i will translate not to indonesian i will switch to korean now it shows indonesian all right i will switch the language to korean where is the korean here we go translate i don't know what it says there as you know i don't speak arabic i don't speak uh, uh, korean so I will take this text as it is to see what it says there. Maybe we can understand better. And you will see that even the stupid Google translation exposing the lies they gave you that Muhammad was nothing but a terrorist. I will post and I will exchange the translation. What is that? I hope this translation is not the same in English. No, Ara, Fora, Ara, Allah, Messenger, and Choice. What is this? <laughs> Translation is horrible. But anyway, this guy, he speaks English, right? So he have no excuse. All right? He have no excuse to say, oh, uh, uh, I don't understand. It says, I've been victorious by terror. Let us see. What, what else? Muhammad, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind except Muslims. The word here, uqatil, it means fight to kill. The Messenger of Allah said, I have been commanded to kill all mankind, all of them, no exception, until they testify that there is no true God except Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. So they told you that they're nice and peaceful and Islam is peace. And so who was the terrorist Muhammad then? They didn't they tell you. I mean, you did not go and search in Google for two minutes. And you found that Muhammad was riding a caravan, which means he was a thief attacking people in the street, taking their wallet. And this is Muhammad himself saying, I am a, a person being ordered to kill anyone. Anyone, not the one is attacking me. They say to you, oh, Islam is defending themselves. No, read carefully. I have been commanded to fight the people, any people, any human being. Until what? Until they stop attacking me? No. Until they stop uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 like uh, launching war on me? No. 
until they say the shahada, which you say to yourself. So this poor kid, they lied to him and they told him Muhammad was a peaceful person. Well, isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29, says that Allah, he ordered the Muslims to kill all the infidels and specifically the Christians. This is the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 29. And the purpose of this attack is either you convert to Islam or you pay money. And now because you are a lucky person, you don't live under Islamic state, so you are not going to be forced to pay jizya, which is have to be with humiliation, which means you have to be humiliated. The Muslims have to spit in your face every day in the top of paying the money to protect you from them. You ask the Muslims, why we pay jizya? They say to protect you. Okay, protect me from who? From us. <laughs> they come to your land, they occupy your country, they take your country, and now they, uh, you have to pay them so you can live. And this is where the word mafia came in from in Italy. When the Muslim they occupy part of Italy, the Islamic mafia, which is the, the true Islam, the Quran, as you see, force the jizya on the Christians. So pay and live. So when the Muslim left and being kicked out of Italy, the gangs took over and they practice what they learn from Muslims, the true Muslims, not the one you see in your YouTube, a bunch of dummies. From the true Muslim, they learn that we should force people to pay for protection. And this is what gang people do until now, for Muhammad was nothing but a gang. So they say to you that Islam is peace. You know, they might say to you, Christian Prince is lying to you. This is not a true. We are fighting those who they are fighting us. No, my friend. First of all, read carefully. Islam is a racist cult. Islam says anyone is not a Muslim is najis. The pagan are najis, not any clean. You see, translation here says any clean. Imagine Mr. Kim. And I say to you, mister, because I must speak to you as an adult, and I assume that you're an adult now, right? Not a kid no more. Imagine that somebody say to your friend who is a Christian or an atheist in Korea, you are najis. I want you to check the word najis. What does that mean? Do you know what najis mean? If you touch your shit, excuse my language, that is najis. A Christian person in Islam is shit. A Jewish person in Islam is shit. And the funny Muhammad, because he is a hypocrite, he said to them, the Christian are shit, but you can marry from them because he want to spread the number of Muslims. So the Christian, they will have less women and the Muslim will have more women to spread more babies. Actually, you said something about women in Islam and we will go there because you just remind me that the Quran even say that women are shit. Excuse my language. This is the Quran. You told me that the Muslim women, she told you, we cover ourselves because we are like pearls. Did she say that to you? She is like a pearl? My friend, the Quran says, a Muslim man, his prayer is not accepted if he do the following, if he touch his poopoo -poo or he touch a woman. So the Quran make the women equal to poopoo. -poo. Read carefully. If you know how to read. Hmm? He said, speaking about what is accepted for a prayer. If you come from the call of nature, or if you've been contacted with women, then you have to wash, otherwise you can't pray. So Muhammad, he made women equal to Pupu. This is a chapter four, verse number 43. We can go to the Korean translation and see what the Koreans said about that. And for sure, they will give you all kind of lies to fabricate the translation. Never learn Islam from Muslim translation.
I know, my friend, I know. We do not need to repeat that he failed. But this is not his fault, my friend. He's a kid. The person, he is a kid. And this is, can happen to your kid too. Many kids are seeking to be stars, want to be, be loved. They want to be in the spotlight. So I don't blame him. He's just a kid. The problem is he grew in a society. Nobody cares for God and nobody teach him what the cult of Islam is. And he never go to a church. He said that too. He never, he, he's, a, he's a Christian by name. So this is, he is a victim of a society. He became so much obsessed with media, TV, music, dancing, garbage, all kind of, you know, make a video about food and see how many people watch it. And make, and look at it and see how many people will watch Christian Prince video. This is the translation in the Korean language to chapter 4, verse number 43. I will take it and I will post in Google, peace upon him. Let us see what the Korean translation says about that. When you are back, this is the detail about how to pray. If you are back from the bathroom or if you touch a woman, you should, you should find water and wash. <laughs> so this girl, the Muslim girl, you told her why you wear hijab. She said to you, because we are like a diamond. When the Quran says that those women are equal to Pupu, this is what the women she said to you. We are like diamond. Some Muslim, they might say to you, oh, if you have sex with your wife, you have to wash. No, my friend. No, 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 no. You see, the Quran does not say if a woman, she touch a man, she have to wash. Touch, touch. This is touch. La maston. The word in Arabic, if you touch. The Quran never say if a woman, she touch a man, she have to wash. Only if a man, he touch a woman, he have to wash because women are the dirty, according to the faith of Muhammad. And this Muslim woman, she told you that she is covering because she is equal to what? Diamond? My friend, if you have diamond, you let it shine. What is the value of diamond if you, do put, uh, 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 if you put it inside the garbage bag? And you hide the beauty of the, of the diamond. If we respect the diamond, then we let the diamond shine as God, he created her. Not by covering her, oppressing her. And now let us see about your diamond, my friend. Did you tell your friends in YouTube that the Quran says you can beat your wife? I mean, we have a diamond, but we like to beat it. If we go in the same chapter, chapter three, th uh, 4, verse number 34, it says, Women are in charge of, uh, uh, men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel on the other. And because they spend money on their property to support them, Mr. Kim, the Quran saying that you are in charge of women because women is like a prostitute. You spend some money on her, so you own her. It's like a prostitute, you pay her, and now she has to do service. That's what the Quran saying, read it. He spent some money from their property. Why they are in charge of them? Because he spent money from their property. Very simple. And then he continue. So good women, let us see who is the good women, are the one who is obedient guarding in secret that which Allah has guarded and what is that Allah guarded to wear hijab to cover herself to die when she is alive you just said Indonesia is so hot how in the world we force women to wear hijab in a very hot country and those for, from whom you fear rebellion ah those are the bad women what the bad women do fear rebellion they might say to you oh if your wife she have sex with somebody else it's a lie a woman, she have sex in Islam with a different husband, different man, she will be stoned to death. And by the way, did you tell your friends that women in Islam, if they have adultery, they will be stoned to death? Are you going to practice tomorrow in Pakistan, stoning some women for doing adultery, Kim? So you are telling them that Islam is nice, Islam is peace, Islam is beautiful, Islam is etc. When the Quran is saying that kill the women, Beat the women and read carefully. Those women who you fear their rebellion, admonish them and banish them in the bed apart and scourge them. Do you know what scourge them mean? Mean beat them. If we go to the Indonesian translation for this verse, and actually I saw the translation already because I wanted to check. They say, 
in the translation beat them lightly beat them what lightly brother lightly you know what Kim if you can show me the word lightly in Arabic I will shave my 20 foot beard actually it became now 21 uh, foot I, I just measured it yesterday I took the translation I don't speak Korean as you know and I took it to Google to translate the translation <clears throat> and look what I found let us see what happened what happened to the tr translation look what it says here and women uh, uh, who they are is deemed to be desperate uh, then don't sleep with them third uh, beat them lightly you know what Kim I want you to ask the Muslim can we find the word first and second and third in the Quran or this is a fabrication let us see I'm going to copy the word as it is from the Quran in Arabic and I will post it and we will see where the word and beat them lightly the Quran say beat them lightly I will shave my 25 meter mustache if I can find the word lightly in the Quran where is the word lightly let us go and see the Arabic and we take it and paste it in Google and see what Google will say to us lightly huh <laughs> yeah the Muslim they think we have a lightly brain we are stupid and we are naive and they fool us by false translation so now we copy as you see in front of your eyes the word in Arabic and then we go to uh, Google translation and I will switch the language and I will change from English I will choose Arabic and now I will post here the verse now I don't know what is going to be said in the other side all right this is what it says in the Korean language now I have no idea really what it says so what I will do now I will switch this language here hold on I will switch and then I will choose to English the screen is too wide okay what do you mean you mean too narrow maybe all right so uh, English what the translation here is really horrible what is that I can't understand the word this is supposed to English translation in Google uh, I think Google is doing something funny here what happened there is no way the trans the translation is saying that the translation of Google saying this oh this is sorry this is uh, this is chapter 43 did we copy chapter 43 no we copy this one 34 so what the translation is coming so funny you see Kim I don't know what they are translating to you but they are lying to you they are a bunch of liars now let us see your opinion in that I want you to make a videos to answer me about beating women and let us say for the sake of argument the Muslim they say beat you beat her lightly do you really accept yourself to beat your wife lightly what about I spit on you this is very light hmm? if somebody spit on you how light it is more than a spitting isn't it this is a big insult so isn't it shame that there's a God he is teaching you to beat your wife is it shame on you that you are a person who grew up in Korea and Korean they have a great ethic a great people wonderful people now you believe that the Quran is the book to teach you how to treat your wife and then the Muslim when they say to you lightly how lightly it is what about your what about the Quran says if the man he is not obeying the wife the wife she can beat him lightly I'm sure you will like it ah and they will say to you oh we beat her with tooth is a stick what this is a big fat lie this is the prophet of the Muhammad and this is Aisha Aisha is explaining that Muslim women are the most suffering women you told me that that woman she told you that we are like diamonds can you say that again please 
So I was so curious. So I asked a girl who wear hijab, why are you wearing scarf on your face? Did someone force you? And he said, I'm a diamond. Incredibly precious. So I don't want to show this to other people. No, no my friend. She is not a diamond in Islam. She is, a, she is nothing. This is why if she is a diamond, the husband, he will put her in the top of his crown. Not he will have four of them in the bed. And not will be allowed to divorce her by a text message and will not be allowed even to rent her and pay her money to take off her clothes. And he will not be allowed to be beating her. So Kim, what is your brain? Are you still a kid or you are an adult? That's a good question. I want everybody who is listening and I encourage all the Korean who watch this video Please translate and add subtitle, printed subtitle, so every Korean will see that this person, he have nothing to do with Islam. He is just a fool, fool himself, and he is trying to fool others. Maybe he is seeking attention, maybe because he, he, he failed in, in Korea, as he said, nobody listened to him, nobody gave him attention, so he went to Indonesia, and suddenly he have a lot of subscribers, and then, okay, I convert to Islam, and then suddenly he, boom. But your friend, my friend, you are no one except that you are a fool and the proof is here we go i'm showing that everything you said is wrong in the hadith here we see that aisha she said i never saw a woman she came to complain to aisha about her husband who he did beat her until her skin became a greener than her clothes her skin what greener Read carefully. Aisha said that a lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her, to Aisha, of her husband and showed her a green spot in her skin caused by beating. The narrator, he said, it was the habit of the lady to support each other, which means those ladies are stupid. They are supporting each other, but they don't understand. They are they're stupid, you know, like they don't know what they are talking about. So when Allah Messenger Came, Aisha said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. So Aisha herself is witnessing that the most horrible life for a woman is a Muslim woman. Who said that? Aisha herself. Read carefully. I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Look, her skin greener than her clothes. And then what Muhammad did? Did he say to the man, shame on you, to beat your wife? No, he gave him a verse from the Quran, says, beat them. And not only that, he forced the women to be raped by this man who is supposed to be the husband. The husband said, well, uh, her intention is to go back to her previous husband. Muhammad, he said to her, if that is your intention, you should know it's unlawful for you to remarry Rifa, the previous uh, previous husband, unless Abdul Rahman has sexual intercourse with you. In fact, then the Arabic translation, the, the, that Arabic word doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, Yazuq wa asilatuki until he tests your juice, your cum. Look how filthy this prophet is. Then the prophet, after he said that to her. He said to her clearly that you cannot go back to the husband, previous husband, unless you sleep with the new husband. And that because the Quran says so. So Kim, let me tell you something, my friend. If you want to divorce your wife and you are a Muslim now, and you divorce her three times, brother, do you know that she cannot go back to you unless she sleep with someone else and marry him and sleep with him for at least a few times or maybe once at least. And then she get back to you. You are following the most garbage, trashy religion ever. If we go and look in the Quran, because you might say, uh, it doesn't say that. Where you, where you get this, uh, you know, from? Let it go. Here we go. <laughs> Chapter 2, verse number 230. If a husband, he divorces his wife, and this is talking about divorcing the wife for the third time, she cannot go back to the previous husband unless she remarry, she cannot go and remarry him until 
after she married another guy and then she came back to him <laughs> so the women she told you we are like diamond so this is miss diamond now her husband divorced her and she have 10 kids from him and she want to return back not because she cared for the guy but mostly because she cared for her kids as all mothers do so now she is desperately trying to get back so now what is the solution to get back she have to go and find the guy take off her panty and he do boom boom to her and then after that she can go after he finish with her and he rape her because this is a rape she's been forced to marry this guy as you see we just showed you the story of this woman who been forced to have sex with the guy who she don't want the whole story here is beating her because she don't want to sleep with him And her intention, she married him just because she said she said to herself, okay, I will marry him for a day or two, and then I will not sleep with him, and then he, have, he, he will hate me, divorce me, and then I can go back to my previous husband. It was a solution because of the, of the crazy, the mad Muhammad. So the Muslim women, she told you we are like diamonds. Do you beat diamonds? Do you force them to wear veil? Do you know that women in Islam, they have no inheritance equal to the man? Do you know that Muhammad, he forbid them even to be witnesses except in the case of borrowing money? Do you know that the Quran says that two women are equal to one man in the case of witness and only in the case of money? In the case of murder, women are not accepted. Even if there's a million women, they are not accepted to witness in the court for they are half a brain. She told you we are diamond. Do you have a law in Korea that says women are not accepted to be a witness in the court because she is half a brain? She told him, we are like diamonds. You made me cry, my friend. This is true. This is very true. Chapter 2, verse number 282. The Quran make it clear that women are half brain like you mr kim but trust me women are not half a brain me myself i have a mother she have a brain of 20 men shame on you kim to believe in such a garbage believing that women are half a brain the fact the one who half a brain is the one who said that a statement because if you look with me, you will see, it says that if one of them forgot the other one, she will remind her. Who is the other one? Other women. Two women are equal to one man as a witness in the case of borrowing money only. But all of us, we knew a man, he might, don't, he might not remember what he ate for lunch yesterday. A woman, she can remember a party she did enjoy a year ago. She can tell you what women they were dressing what the makeup they have, what the ear they were wearing, what the color of their dress, when the guy he cannot even remember what the color of his shoe or his suit he was wearing. So when Muhammad he claimed that women have half a brain and they have a very bad memory, they are because Allah, he made them stupid. He is the one is stupid. For women, they are way better than men into details. The opposite of men. What kind of religion this religion is? If there is no two women, two men, then a man and two women. Such of your choice, which means what? Even if there is two women, we have to approve them still. They have to go through interview because they are women. You know, they are half a brain, brother. Actually, Muhammad in the hadith, he said, <laughs> look at this filthy. He said that women, they are naqisatu aqlin wa deen. They have half a brain and half religion. And he claimed that most of women, they will go to hell. Did the lady he told, she told you that she is a diamond. Did she tell you that most of women, Muslim women, they will go to hell? This is your prophet now. Have fun. Kim, you have a prophet. His name is Muhammad. He's a child molester. And we will talk about that, by the way. Because women, they are diamond to the point... We force children who they are female at the age of six to sleep with the man at the age of 54. Do you see how much diamond we are talking about? Shame on you. 
Muhammad he said to the women, O oh, women, gay, pay charity. For most of you, you will go to hell. One woman, she said, why will we go to hell? He said, because you have a lacking of wisdom. And this is false translation. It says you have, you, you, your brain is not complete. It's a half a brain. And you have half religion. Then the woman, she said, what is our, how we have deficiency in our brain? And where is our deficiency in our religion? He said, the lack of your brain is a proven and judged by the Quran where it says two women are equal to one man, which the verse we showed you in the Quran already. So they told you that women are like diamond in Islam. And now what the Muslim, they will say to you, this is daif. No, this is sahih. This is very sahih, which means very authentic. And look how stupid this man Muhammad by his saying saying that he claimed that women they will go to hell because they have menstruation. Because they ask him, what is the lack of our religion? He said, Well, isn't it true that when you have your menstruation, you cannot practice some forms of a prayer? Well, you are the one who forbid them from doing it. So a woman have menstruation, she will go to hell. <laughs> This is the reason for women to go to hell. And this is the reason that the women are not equal to the man. And this is the reason that the women, she is going to be the majority number of hellfire. For she have half a brain. And why? Because supposedly Allah, he made them stupid. And look how stupid Muhammad is. If I have half a brain, isn't it Allah who made me half a brain? So how I can be punished for having, having a lack of intellect as Muhammad said? I mean, have you have ever heard of a stupidity like this? Who is the one who created the woman? Let us assume for the sake of argument, women have lack of intellect, as Muhammad claimed, which is stupid to say. But who is the one who created women with this deficiency, as Muhammad claimed? Isn't it Allah? Who is the one who gave them the brain they have and the ministration they have? So Allah will punish them for how he created them. And as you see, this is sahih. But Mr. Kim, a Muslim woman, she told him, we are like diamond. Now, if you are going to download the video, you can copy the part where he said that a Muslim woman, she told him that she is like a diamond and then copy the video, cut the video where I spoke about women in Islam to make it more usable. Because usually people are lazy. Just copy the whole video and post it. Make it short. You see, my video is long because I'm trying to explain and then you cut it off. All right. What else? Mr. Kim, what make you convert to Islam addition that women are diamond? Which prove that this is absolutely false. Ah, oh, I forgot. I don't want to miss this. The prophet who considered women like diamond, as you claim. He had a wife. She is six years old. You told me that when the first time you heard about Islam, you were eight years old. Speaking about how small you were. How can you believe that there is a prophet, a man who respect himself? He go after a child at the age of six. Actually, Muhammad, he asked for the hand of Ummu Habiba when she was in the age of nursing. You believe it? She's, she's just, she just finished nursing, mm, suckering. She just finished suckering. And he said, if a muhabiba she grow, she will be my wife. And he have her. What kind of a man, he look at an infant and he say she will be mine. What kind of a man, he go after a child, she is six years old. If you want, you can go and search in Google for a six years old child. And let us see how old they are and imagine that this is a man he is 54 years old with a child at this age so you are telling the korean kim that in islam women are like diamond the only diamond i see is in a full eyes look at your eyes my friend you look like a drunk person tell us more Nobody forced me. This is my choice and I'm so proud of it. First of all, that's a lie. 
a Muslim woman, if she don't wear hijab, she will be beaten. This is why in Saudi Arabia, they have an Islamic police. Maybe in some countries, they don't do that, but the family is the police there. She been forced to, and they lie. They say, we are not forced to. Now, I can believe her if she lived maybe in the West, and she say, okay, I want to wear hijab. That will be more to believe. But she live in Indonesia, and she is saying to you, I'm wearing hijab by choice since when? Hmm. I'm not from Indonesia. I do not know their culture, really. But according to Islam, a woman, she have to wear hijab. Otherwise, she will be beaten by the husband. Because this is a rebellion. Muhammad, he said that the women, she have awrat. Ten aura, one of them is her voice. Even her voice is a vagina. This is what aura mean. Just to show you how stupid you are. If we go in the Quran right now. And by the way, don't be offended for saying the word stupid. I mean it. For now you are stupid. I hope you will repent and you will come back to your brain. In chapter 33, verse number 53 in the Quran, it says, O who you believe, enter not the house of the Prophet until is given to you for a meal. Muhammad is even cheap. People coming, poor people coming for a meal, he kicked them out. Don't enter, don't enter, don't come here. Okay? I don't have food for you. All right? And when you only when you are invited to enter. And then he says, if you want to speak to the women of the Prophet, you have to speak from behind the veil, from behind the curtain. Do you see it? And if you want anything, ask them from before a screen. This is a stupid translation, before a screen. So a Muslim woman, she have no choice to wear hijab or not. Actually, it's not a hijab. In Islam, hijab is not something to put in the dress in the top of her head. Muslims are naive people do not understand the Quran as you see you speak from behind the curtain you don't put the curtain in your head so a Muslim woman she is not allowed to show herself anything of herself she have to be totally hiding behind the curtain because she is a diamond right or because Muhammad considered consider them nothing but a private part and a sexual target So this is what they told you they are diamond no this is not a choice this is an order in Islam and we can show you tons of fatwa anyone can go and right now and search about is it if a Muslim she don't wear hijab is she disobeying Allah and deserve punishment you will see the answer yes her husband her brother her father can beat her until she wear it What else? I don't know. I don't want to make the video long, but it's 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 getting longer, right? Can you believe it? How they fool you? And now they are using this poor kid. Yeah, and why? By the way, the woman, the diamond woman herself, she will be a sex toy in the heaven. The man, he will get at least seventy-two women and three and eighty thousand boys. What the woman she will get? She herself, she will be a sex toy for the man in the heaven. And she told you we are like diamonds. The word diamond, actually, my friend, is an insult. For women are not diamond. Women are human beings. They are not something to buy. When you say women are diamond, that means we can buy them. And yes, your prophet, he ordered to purchase women. If we go in the hadith, sahih hadith, your prophet, he allow Muslim women to rent their private part per night. The Muslim, they call it muta. The Muslim Sunni Indonesia, they will say, oh, this is the Shia. That's a lie. This is your prophet. This is not Shia. Your prophet is Shia. And the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24, it says, Famous tamta'tum bihunna. Uh, 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 pay them their wages. Those who are you, you enjoy their vagina, pay them, pay them their wages. 
Actually, in some verses it says, instead of istamta'atum bihinna, it says, bihi, which means the vagina. Pay for what you enjoy yet. What enjoy what? The vagina. The Prophet said, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari, this is Sahih as you see. Allah Messenger said, if a man and a woman agree, and look, the Muslim, they put for you a bracket for diamonds. <laughs> they say temporary marriage. Have you ever heard of a cult allow you to marry a woman for one night? Since when we can call this marriage? It's a persecution. Their marriage should last for three nights. And if they like to continue, they can do so. Okay. But what is that? Based on what? Paying money. Paying money. Right? All is about paying money. The woman, she will be renting herself to a customer who is seeking rental. Actually, even the Muslims, they have no, they are not shy to say, yes, we rent women. Let me show you. Because you might say, well, I don't know what you are talking about. Where do you get this from? Right? Where do you get this from? That muta is rental. It is not what we say. It is what they say. Read with me carefully, my friend. This is an Islam.org, very Islamic website. And they are talking about what the muta. There's four pillars of muta, and the four pillars concentrate in sex and money. The man he offer, the woman she accept, he pay her, she take off her panty. But look what their Mus your Muslims friends, your scholars, they explain to us about muta. It is a rental. In some work, a special terms applied for women who appreciate in muta mustajara. Mustajara mean rented or rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because in general means basic aim is this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. This is the diamond. The diamond she is allowed to rent her private part in return of payment. And in return of this enjoyment, the women she receives certain amount of money or a property. So you told the Korean that women in Islam, they are like diamond? Hey Kim, are you going to rent a diamond? I mean, you're coming rental wife? I heard about renting cars, renting a boat, a, a renting a house. But renting women, I did not. But obviously they are diamonds. I mean, that's it. Kim, he is advising you. The Muslim woman told me she is like diamond. I mean, are you blind? Can't you see that we are diamond, but we are for rent, for sexual enjoyment? Koma Sotra. What's wrong with this then? Did it fool you? Are you a fool? I will make more videos, but I want to show you another video he, he, made, he made. A brother, Kim is showing the Muslims and the Korean amazing miracles in the Quran. Kim, show us, please. Ta'an of the Quran. Number one, origin of life. Water is essential for all living things. We all know that water is vital to life, but the Quran makes a very unusual claim. We made every living thing from water. <laughs> Do not believe? <sighs> In this verse, water is pointed out as the origin of all. God, do you see how Kim is excited? Oh, the Quran! It is there, uh, uh, Kim. Like, don't you know? I mean, don't you know that everybody need water? I mean, is that a secret? Secondly. Your Quran is made by a stupid idiot because this is contradiction for the Quran. The Quran just said every living thing was created from water. But look what the Quran says. 
angels are created from light and genie are created from fire and the stupid Quran says everything was created from water so who is the stupid here hmm how the Quran says everything let us show the verses so we can laugh <laughs> this 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 crazy Muhammad he forgot what he said in different verse <laughs> I'm so glad that you are the one who is playing this video just to show you how stupid the Quran author which is Muhammad let us see <clears throat> Give me a second. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. The Prophet of Allah said, The angel were born out of light, and the jinn they were born out of a spark of fire what is the water huh what is the water do you see water there so how the quran says everything is created from water but when we go in the quran and we go in the hadith we find that that is a total contradiction in chapter 55 verse number 15 it says Allah he created the genie from fire free of his smoke where is the water but you are the one who said in the video that Allah created everything every living thing if the Muslim they say to you oh Allah he meant in the earth hello genie are in the earth too and by the way Adam was not created in earth anyway, according to Islam. And the Quran says every living thing. Every living thing. So what you call miracle is a stupid contradiction for the Quran. What else, Kim? Show us more miracles, brother. <sighs> It says that in the Quran. Let us skip a little bit. For this one, we get it busted already. We do not need to. Number two. What is number two? Earth, but came down to earth from outer space. Oh, really? oh. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It did not form on the earth. Wow. Number two. Wow. Iron. Iron is not natural to the earth. Iron. It did not form on the earth, but came down to earth from outer space. Oh, really? Oh. really? This may sound strange, but it's true. It's true. Oh. Scientists have found that billions of years ago, the earth was stuck by meteorites. <gasps> These mm. meteorites were carrying iron from distant stars, oh, which wow. had exploded. <laughs> oh. The Quran says the following on the origin oh, of okay, iron. Okay. okay, okay, okay. We sent down iron with its great inherent strength. And its many benefits for humankind. <laughs> God uses the words sent down for iron. It is clear from the verse that iron is not an earthly material, but was sent down for the benefit of humanity. Wow. The fact that iron came down to earth from outer space is something which could not be known by the primitive science of the seventh century. Wow. Wow. Kim, are you stupid or a donkey? the earth is full of magma and the magma is full of iron so how the iron came from the sky you idiot science says there is meteor fell in the ground and there's a lot of iron fell from space yes but it, that's it doesn't mean that iron the one we have is coming all of it from the space secondly did you read the verse so we can laugh together <laughs> Uh, when uh, 
when when a Muslim he uh, he tried to make a, a fabricate a miracle in the Quran or science in the Quran. I find it very funny and very entertaining. Entertaining. Let us see. Hold on. <clears throat> When you read the verse, you will see that the Quran is not only against science, it's a book of stupidity. And the Muslims, they fool you when they say to you, the Quran says we send down the iron. What's wrong with this website? Hold on. It's not opening. All right, let us try now, refresh the page. Here we go. This is the verse he is quoting for you. Did you read it? And you will see right away the mistakes there because it says clearly, we send down the messengers. Did Allah send Muhammad down? Did Allah send down Muhammad? No. Okay. And then, and we send with them the book. Did Allah send Muhammad with the book? No. And we send down the scale. Here they say the word balance. Did Allah send the scale really? Physical scale? No. The Muslim, all of this, they will say metaphorical, metaphorical. Suddenly, it became not metaphorical. And then they say, and he sent down, not revealed, the iron. Send down. Okay. He sent down the iron to who? For the man. To do what with it? To kill with it. So the iron, according to Allah, was a creation sent down to the man, which means the man was there first. This is number one. Number two. Uh, why the Muslim, they don't go and take how many times the Quran says we send down? For the Quran, in the same verse, it says we send down. Change the translator. Hold on. Go to uh, what his name? Any any Muslim translation? Hilali, Muhammad Hilali, and Khan. All right. Indeed, we send down our messengers. Okay, so that means messengers was not on earth; they were in heaven. They are, they are they came with the meteor. Are the clear approved with sign? And we send down the scriptures, and with them we send down the scriptures, with them. And then we send down the scale, not the balance, to the mankind. Did Allah send the scale? The Muslim, they say, no, this is metaphorical for the Quran. All right. And then we send down the hadid to kill. And we send down iron, we're in mighty power, so we can slaughter people, they can slaughter each other. The purpose of the iron to be sent so people they will get the benefit of killing each other however as long as the muslim they say to you this and this is supposedly made you impressed like how amazing that is let me show you something did the video says that the scientists they say there's a lot of meteor fell down from the sky let us play the video again a little bit And it's many benefits for humankind. <gasps> God uses the words sent down for iron. It is clear from the verse that iron is not an earthly material, but was sent down for the benefit of humanity. The fact that iron came down to earth from outer space is something which could not be known by the primitive science of the seventh century. Wow. How, how, wow. Oh. How do you know that? Wow. Guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Wow. When shaitan he tried to steal information from the cia department of allah allah he showed him with a star wow wow now we know how the iron came down from heaven brother we just saw it huh? we decorated the sky with lamps to make them 
a decoration for the beholder, which means the Quran claim that all the stars is seen by our eyes, which is very stupid to say. Because this is the purpose of them. The second purpose, and we made them, those, those lambs, as a shooting stars for the shaitan. And here it says we made the earth flat like carpet. The same in chapter 15, verse number 19. <laughs> Translation, we can change it. So when you say, wow, did you say, did you even read that the verse or you are just watching a video and whatever, this is your job. They are paying you. Whatever they say, you say, wow, to promote it. Is that the deal between you and the Muslims? Is that how you make money? You make videos? Brother, I want you today to make videos. I, I assure you that this guy is not doing it by his own. They tell him what to do. Wow! Wow! This is what science teach. That the meteor we see coming from the sky, they are coming because those are stars, not meteor. And Allah is shooting the shaitan in his ass. Actually, in different verse in the Quran, it says, Now again, the one who will download the video, please cut it off pieces and make a topic like, okay, uh, Kim amazed with the miracle of the Quran, science number one, number two, because we are answering many. Don't just download the whole video and put it together. Spread the video all over. And if you can translate, please add subtitle. And certainly we have adorned the lower heaven with lamps and we have made those missiles for the shaitans. Brother, wow! Wow, this is science, brother. Right away, right away, the topic is coming after it. Let, let us finish this one. The sky protected. Three, number three, sky protection. Protection. Sky protection, okay. The sky plays a crucial role in protecting the earth. The sky protects right. the earth from the lethal rays of the sun. If the sky did not exist, then the sun's radiation would have killed off all life on earth. Oh. It also acts like a blanket wrapped around Earth to protect it from the freezing cold of space. Uh -huh. The temperature of the sky. <gasps> but that's so cold. <sighs> if this temperature was to reach Earth, hold then on, the hold planet on. would freeze. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If the sky's radiation would have killed the sky. What? The temperature of the sky is a promising. <gasps> but that's so cold. <sighs> If this temperature was to reach Earth, uh -huh. then the planet would freeze over instantly. Uh -huh. ah. The sky also protects life on Earth by warming the surface ah. through heat retention, ah. greenhouse effect, ah. and reducing temperature extremes between day and ah. night. These are some of the many protective functions of the sky. Ah. The Quran asks everybody, can't you read? Even it says we made the sky protected. Did you lose your brain? This is about, guys, stop saying buffering. Those who keep saying the screen is buffering, buffering. We got it. If you don't like it, leave. What we can do? This is what we have, the internet. You cannot, you cannot watch, go, sleep. What's wrong with people? It's internet. What we can do? Kim. I don't blame you if you disappear from YouTube for being a fool. Let us go to the verse you said about it. Wow. Wow. Let us see. Here we go. Chapter 21, verse number 32. And we made the heaven a roof safe as well guarded okay how we can understand what allah mean go to the interpretation and you will die laughing however to make it simple for you look what the quran said oh. allah 
Wow, this is the protected roof. Or assembly of jinn and men. If you have power to pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth, pass them, but you will never be able to pass except with authority of Allah. And we ask the Muslims, who is the one who have the authority? They say only the angels and Prophet Muhammad and Isa. <coughs> so listen, the protected roof is Allah saying we cannot leave the not a protective roof for the earth. It's a protected sky. So we cannot leave. And if we try to leave, Allah will shoot us with a lamp. Do you see it, fool, Kim? Do you see it, you fool? There will be sent against you both, smokeless flame of fire, melt on a brace. The guy in the video, he made it about temperature, the earth degree, the atmosphere. What is this about? When the Quran is speaking about something totally different. The Quran is speaking about a stupid thing. The Muslim believing in the Quran that if shaitan try to go out of the earth, Allah will show him with a star. And suddenly, a stupid teaching in the Quran became science. Wow, wow, so good. How Allah knew this. What happened to you? What happened to you? Did you lose your mind? Are you stupid? And if we go and we check this, Allah, He made the stars as missiles to shoot the shaitan. Chapter 67, verse number 5. Because we knew that a spaceship is already in the space which is proven that Muhammad is a fraud. And the one who teach that stars are to shoot shaitan in his ass is a stupid. But the Muslims in their video, they made this is about the atmosphere, temperature, the degree of the earth. Wow. You know, this is, this is embarrassing, Kim. People will laugh at you. How shaitan even can spy at Allah? And what kind of Allah he need to shoot him by a star when the shaitan can sleep in your nose as Muhammad said? I mean, do I need to shoot a star to stop shaitan? And he is the one Muhammad says, don't do yan because shaitan he jump in your mouth and clean your nose because the shaitan he sleep in your nose. Kim, are you going to say wow after you see my video? <clears throat> oh boy. Kim, I want you to put this hadith for your subscribers on the screen because not only you will say, wow, now we understand where Booker's is coming from. The Prophet said, when one of you awake up from sleep, perform a pollution, he must clean his nose three times for the devil to spend the night inside his nose. So Allah is using a star to shoot the devil who is a small. He can sleep in your nose. A star. No, I do not need to remake this video. You will find it coming full in YouTube later. And if there is a part is not is not coming from because it was the connection what not good, cut it off. So you see how they fooled them and he how he fooled the Korean. Now, how many of you here from Korea? Do we have anyone from Korea here? How many of you from Korea will translate the videos, cut them pieces, small pieces, so people will see how fooled this man is? 
Tell us more, Kim. What else? The Quran points to the sky's protection as a sign of God. See? You see how they lie? The verses are speaking about something, they make it something else. Can you believe it? Detected from us that we cannot go to the sky. Human being and genie, the Muslims who play deception to fool people like this guy, they say that this is about temperature of the earth. This is about the atmosphere, the X-ray, liars. The protective properties of the sky were discovered by scientific research. Yeah, let us go to, this, the, 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 to the third one. What is the third one? Uh, the third one, brother. Oh, this is number four, sorry. The Quran draws our attention mountain. to a very important characteristic of mountains. Yes, mountain. Mountains, yes. Did we not make the earth as a resting place uh -huh. and the mountains as stakes? <laughs> the Quran Ooh. indicates that mountains have deep roots uh -huh. by using the word stakes to describe. Look, 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 look. The, the, the Quran stated that the uh, mountains have deep roots. The fact the mountains are coming from the ground, they are not rooted, they are coming from the ground. Actually, let us go and see the verses he will show to, show to us and we will die laughing. In fact, mountains do have deep roots mm. and the word stakes is an accurate description for them. A book titled Earth by geophysicist Frank Press. Always they quote for your names we never heard of just to make you believe that they are talking science. Explains that mountains are like stakes and are buried deep under the surface of the earth. Mm. Mount Everest, the height of which is approximately nine kilometers above ground, mm -hmm. has a root deeper than 125 kilometers. Ooh. The fact that mountains have a deep stake, like roots, was not known wow. until after the development of the theory of plate tectonics wow. in wow. the beginning of the 20th century. Oh. Number five. Hold on, hold on. We are not done. Let us laugh. What number five, number six? What is that? Hold on. Let us laugh together. According to the Quran, Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth, which means there was no mountain. Allah created the earth first, and then he put mountains in the top of the earth, which is totally against science. Here we go. Let us laugh together. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran is speaking about mountains in many places, and the mountain appear always actually in the Quran. In every almost every chapter, you will see somewhere the mountain is coming to to appear. But what is very funny that Allah He placed the mountains in the top of the earth. If we go to chapter seventy nine, it says. Here they say, and he made it firm. The fact, no. The fact is, Allah, he left it down. Arsaha mean rasa. Like in the, in the Arabic, we say rasa al-markab, which means the ship went to the port. Landed, you know, landed. Rasa is landed or port. So Allah, he parked the mountains in the top of the earth. Let us see the interpretation for this verse so the Muslim they will not say we are making things up. A chapter 79, verse number 32. Okay, hold on. Hmm. A demon cult. Everything is based on lies. No dignity, no honesty. All right. 79, 32. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> hey Kim, I want you to say wow, a special wow. This is the interpretation made by the scholars of the Muslim, not the YouTubers. And he said the mountains on the face of the earth. So that it stays still. <laughs> so according to Allah, the mountains are not what the guy was saying. Allah, he put them like nails in the earth. He placed them in the top of the earth. 
not coming from the ground. Scientists say that mountains are formed from inside the ground, either by volcano or by the pressure of tectonic plates. If we search in Google for a second, give me a second, how mountains form. Is it somebody put it in the top of the earth or it is coming from inside the ground, either from the pressure of volcano or the pressure of the, the, the lava or the tectonic plate treated? See, the mountains are not something we place in the top of the earth, as the stupid Quran says. The mountains are coming from deep inside the earth. The opposite from what the Quran, the Quran saying the mountains is coming from up Allah put it in the top of the earth because the Quran says Allah created the earth first and then in the top of that he placed the mountains so what do you mean wow 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 why wow at your stupidity how Muslims can fool you I mean what's wrong with you go read you don't you have a computer huh don't you have computer Actually, the Muslim believe that there's a mountain, it's called Qaf. The mountain of Qaf is a mountain surrounding the whole earth from every direction. And this mountain is blue. And it is surrounding the whole earth. You see, this is website here, give you all the interpretation for anything you want. Let us see the mountain Qaf and how the Muslims I want you to say wow please and from the narration this is a chapter cough verse chapter number 50 verse number one and this is the cousin of muhammad your prophet himself saying and from his narration authority of ibn abbas ibn abbas the cousin of muhammad he said the interpretation of allah saying cough cough he says it's an azure mountain overlooking the whole world and the color of the sky take from it wow wow I cannot, I cannot stop saying wow, 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 we, wow, we, wow, we. So we have a mountain called Qaf, and this mountain is surrounding the whole earth, and the sky is blue because this mountain is blue. See how they fool you, my friend. The Quran says, totally opposite from the video you are playing. They are fooling you, and you are fooling your followers. Shame on you. But we are here to get you busted. With no mercy. Expansion of the universe. The expansion the of the universe. The science of astronomy was still primitive. The expansion of the universe was described. You can tell this guy, by the way, he's bored. But look like he have to do it. He will not get paid unless he do it. You can tell, like, I mean, what is uh, what this video is about? I mean, people, they can go watch it and etc. I know. Uh, yeah, expand the universe. Uh, and you can tell like he is not even listening he's not there it's a duty you have to do in order to keep those people following him and to get paid what is this i mean i don't see you like your wow is fake your wow is totally fake and it doesn't sound like even you understand what he's saying described in quran and it is we who have built the universe with our creative power and keep expanding it. Oh. The fact that the universe is expanding was discovered in the last century. The physicist Stephen Hawking, oh. in his book A Brief History of Time, writes, The discovery that the universe is expanding was... You see, I want to I wanna shave my, uh, uh, my 28 meter mustache because it's growing from the lies of the Muslims so fast. The lies of Muslim is the best fertilizer for anything. If you can show me where in the Quran it says that the heaven is expanding. It says, Inna lemuwasi'oon. Muwasi'oon with our ability. Let us see. Let us see and love together. Why the Muslims when they translate them, they don't say, this is expanding the universe. <laughs> all right you see the muslim translation you can translate change any translation it says and the sky we constructed heaven by our hands by our power and we are able to extend vast 
of a space therefore but this is another space about the space this is about about how we create let us see maybe i'm wrong let us see the interpretation right shall we chapter 50 uh, actually just to change the translator you will find they'll find or every muslim he give you his own translation because all of them they are a bunch of liars trying to say something is not in the quran choose one anyone you want big tab who make vast extent where does it say we are going to expand the universe does it say that no so if we go to the interpretation chapter 51 verse number 47 and by the way the bible says that long before anyone the bible says that god he extended the universe like a curtain he extended like a curtain and this is written thousand before a, year, a thousand of years before muhammad was even exist let's see <clears throat> he extend the universe huh yeah I would extend your life this is about the ability of the God of Islam he can do more here we go see it we built and we created the heaven with might and we have to make it vast extent therefore it will be it uh, we we will it also said that this mean he expand provision therefore nowhere is speaking about expanding universe if you don't like ibn, ibn abbas change to ibn uh, uh, jalalain if you don't like jalalain change to ibn kathir and you will die laughing somebody is asking me to search wiki islam i am wiki islam my friend what wiki islam me i will search wiki islam hmm. thank you for the advice my friend i learned my uh, knowledge about islam from wiki islam and the heaven we rebuilt, powerful, etc., and we are capable to make it more strong. That's it. There is no expand of universe. It's a lie. It's a garbage. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Maybe Ibn Kathir, he have a better answer to help the Abdul. Maybe Ibn Kathir will support the Abdul target. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Hey, Ibn Kathir, are you there, brother? Hmm? Ibn Kathir. He will help us. 5147. This is Ibn Kathir. Here we go, brother. Hmm. We instructed the heaven, meaning we made it high roof, protected from failing. <laughs> the sky will fall on us, brother. And we build it with hands, with strengths. According to Abdullah ibn Abbas ibn Mujahid Qutad, blah, 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 he says, we are able to extend vast in space, therefore mean. We made it vast, we brought its roof higher without pillars to support it, and it's hanging independently. By the way, in different verse, the Quran says that we made the sky in a pillar that you can see, which means, it's a pillars there are there but you cannot see well ardu farashnaha and we made the earth firash which means carpet so according to the quran the earth is a flat so as you see there is no the universe is expanding there's no garbage and all of this is a stupid however as long the muslims are talking about this okay let us go to muhammad he is the one who can solve all the problems Brother, according to Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, he said that the mountains was created before the sky, brother. And the mountains was created before the sun, brother. And brother, uh, uh, the mountains uh, created, uh, remember, they are talking about science, right? Aren't they talking about science? Okay. What the order of creation according to Muhammad? The first thing Allah created, it was the dust. He created the earth in Saturday, and the mountains in Sunday, and the trees in Mondays, and the things in Thailand labor in Tuesday, and the light in Wednesday. And by the way, that was like making fun of the Bible, saying that God created the sun in Wednesday. <laughs> he did not know that his prophet was copying something from somewhere. 
and we spread the animals all kind in Tuesday and Thursday and created Adam in a Friday afternoon so this is what science teach where is the heaven until now there's no heaven because according to the Quran if you go in the Quran you will find in chapter 41 My friend, Zach and Nike have a stream. What I can do now? I shut down my screen, a stream and, and go to Zach and Nike. I mean, you people are funny. You want to watch Zach and Nike? Go to Zach and Nike. All right. Read with me carefully. And he placed therein firm hills rising above it. This is mountain, not hills. Translation is false. It says Rawasi. So Allah, he placed the mountain in the top of the earth. And then he made the measure of all things. And after he finished the mountains, there was no sky. So according to your Quran, my friend, I want you to say, wow, Kim, there was no sky yet, but the mountains was there. Do you see it? Allah created the earth in two days. He finished everything in the top of the earth in four days, including the mountains. And then the sky was a smoke. There was nothing. This is what science teach. This is what science teach. I want you to say wow. Please don't forget to say wow when you see this video. And then Allah, he made them seven heavens. And then after that, the last thing, Allah, he created the stars. So according to Muhammad, the mountains were created before the stars. Wow. 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 And not only that, the Muslim they said to you that we believe in the Big Bang. But as you see, how you believe in the Big Bang? If you believe that the earth was finished before the sky, there was nothing. I cannot stop seeing wow. Uh, tell us more, Mr. Wow. Wow. It's one of the great intellectual revolutions. Of yeah, okay, let us jump this one because already we answered it. What is the number, what, what the lie after it? Number six. What is that? In 1512, the astronomer Nicholas Copernicus put for Prophet Nicholas, astronomers are always the one who discover things is not Muslims. When Muslims they make videos, they mention someone is a Christian to prove their point. But look what will happen. Just wait. In a second, we will die laughing and we will say, wow. Forward his theory that the sun is motionless at the center of the solar system and that the planets revolve around it. The belief that the sun is stationary was widespread amongst astronomers until the 20th century. It is now a well-established scientific fact that the sun is not stationary, but is moving in an orbit around the center of our Milky Way galaxy. See, see the liars? See the liars? He will use a verse in the Quran, and now he will make it the Quran saying that the sun going around the, the, the what, what is that? The, the, the galaxy, the Milky Way? What, 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 what was that? When the Quran is speaking totally the opposite, the Quran is speaking about the sun, when how it's sun, when the sun set and the sun rise. They make it about the orbit of the sun going in the Milky Way. Let us get them busted. The Quran mentions the orbit of the sun. Your prophet getting you busted, you liar. And I want you to say wow as much as you like. This is not about the sun going in the Milky Way, you coward liar. I'm not calling the king coward, by the way, he's just a kid. The one who made the video. This is your prophet getting you busted. According to your prophet, the sun goes every day from the east to the west and puts straight under the throne of Allah. So what we see every day, the 24 hours movement of the light around us, which is the light of the sun, according to Muhammad, it is the sun moving. And this is what he meant by the verse they were just quoting for us. Read it carefully. In chapter 36, verse number 38, Muhammad, he said, Abu, uh, uh, Abu, uh, Muhammad said to Abu Dhar, his companion, who was riding behind him in a donkey. They were leaving the mosque and he said to Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. As Muhammad, for sure, he know best. He is, is Nasa himself. He said it goes prostrate under the throne of Allah. But look, in the video they said the sun goes in the Milky Way and this is the orbit of the sun. 
Do you see how they lie? While the sun here, according to Muhammad, it's moving, not the earth is moving. The 24 hour a day movement of the earth for Muhammad, it is the sun moving. Read it. Where the sun goes. Do you know where the sun goes? Muhammad, he did not say the sun does not go. He said where the sun goes. The guy, he said only you and Allah knows because Muhammad and Allah is one. He said that the sun goes, i.e. travel and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. And this is what the Quran means by saying, and the sun runs in its fixed course. Do you see it? This is the orbit. Do you see how they lie? And this guy, the Joker came, he just said, wow. His job, this is his job, by the way. This is what you get paid for. Wow. Wow. Meow. Ow. Do you see? Is the Muslim going to say to you, the Prophet is a liar? This is Sahih Bukhari, very authentic, and this is the hadith number. Wow. Wow. And hold on, not only that, your prophet, he said that the sun not only do that, the sun go and take a shower in the murky water. Which, by the way, very wow, because I saw the sun once uh, taking shower in the murky water and she was wearing bikini. Trust me, I saw that. Hmm. This is your prophet giving us another wow. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting, he's asked, do you know where he said? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it's set in a spring of warm water. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, meow. Wow. Hmm? And actually, this is what the Quran says. If you go to chapter 18, it says that the sun set in the murky water. And the Muslim tried to explain. They say, no, no, no. This is how the Quran, he saw it. Huh? Uh, your prophet got you busted. Your prophet explained. No, it's not how Zul Qurnain he saw what you bunch of liars. This is a chapter 18, verse number 86. It says Zul Qurnain he keep walking until he found the sitting place of the sun. Where is that? The sun set everywhere. I do not need to go to it. So obviously the Quran is speaking about a place, certain place where the sun set. And he found it sitting in a spring of muddy hot water. And this is totally in agreement with Muhammad teaching saying that the sun set in the murky water. Wow! 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 That's a lot. Now, we had a, a big number of viewers and then we lost them because we lost our internet, right? What we can do. So guys, I'm going to stop here and I will give you time to download the video. I'm not going to keep it in my channel. But again, please, I want you to cut the videos into pieces. Let me teach you some tricks. The, the, the part where he say wow and he say the verse. Let us say you make a verse now about the, the miracle of the mountain, Kim Dawood or Dawood Kim. The reaction of the, this is what the Muslim do to get more attention. We want everybody to see that this is a hilarious lie. So don't download the whole video and post it there as it is. But mostly those people, they don't, those kids, they don't watch long videos. They don't have patience. They want to play games. They want to hear music. So if you want to help your kids, think as the kids think. Make it short. Pressure it, you know, pressure it. Huh? All right. Now, I was going to go in the other channel. Should I go? And we stop here? We will make more videos for this guy, but I want to give you a chance to finish what we have. And we will laugh later. I mean, we have a lot of nothing to do. Uh, uh, let us see. Uh, you see, none of you told the people who they are waiting for me in the other channel that I am here. Uh, we did not make a mistake, but we, we thought the, the, the time would be shorter. All right. I thought I would make a short time. So anyway, guys, this is the video. I will change the timing to go live on air. Uh, maybe I will give myself just half hour break. This is the link. All right.
just give me half half hour to make some tea and this video will be ready maybe in 20 minutes from now please download it all don't just post it all of it one piece you can post it but still you can post one piece for those who like to watch long video but it's better if you cut it off pieces and make topic like wow the reaction of the wood kim wow the miracle of mountains in the quran wow you know yeah this is how you can get the attention and then everybody will die at the wow of kim and please please for god's sake if you are a korean translate to the korean language save your kids i'm not worried about my kids I don't have any and if I have any trust me my son Christian Prince Jr. he will debate Allah in his diaper and Allah will not dare to debate him I'm worried about your kids because they are using this poor kid to deceive your kids and then one day you wake up in the morning you find your son joining Al-Qaeda So I'm not doing it to myself. I'm doing it for this kid and every kid and your family. Otherwise, trust me, I hate this cult. I hate to talk about it. I hate to spend my beautiful morning about such a garbage religion. But I find always that I feel guilty if I don't go live and I do what I do. Because what I do, very few maybe can do and maybe nobody can do. So please download it, please share it, please add subtitle, please cut it pieces, and please let us help this kid and every kid around the world. They are targeting Korean, Mexican, Spanish, Italian, Chinese. They are working, they have a huge network, and we have nothing. You see, one thing there's a the Muslims, about the Muslims, we don't have. The Muslims, they gang together. Christian, they don't help each other much. I mean, look, this kid, and this is why he converted to Islam. He noticed how much attention he got. He became a superstar. Two million subscribers. He was no one in Korea. Nobody listened to him. Nobody wanted to talk to him. So he found himself between the Muslims. And this is exactly what happened. He's important now because of Islam. Otherwise, he was no one. And actually, he said it clearly. He hated to work. He hated the work he was doing. His father lost his job. Islam will replace what is lost. Suddenly he became a superstar and the subscribers became by millions. And you can imagine how much support they give him just to make those videos so he can convert, convert and fool some Korean. So we have a duty to save this kid and every kid in the world. This kid can be your child. He is a victim of his family actually. This is what happened when they have parents who they are not responsible and they don't teach their kids about right and wrong. This is what happens when you don't teach your kids that Islam is a fraud and you warn them. And we are here to do what you do not do. So all what we're asking you for, just please download the video, cut it pieces, add subtitle in your language, do something for God's sake. You know, time will come and you say, Lord, Lord, and the Lord, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Are you doing his will? Are you saving one human being before you go to death? Just one. Before you die, can you save one human being? Just do it. A video you post somewhere you do not know, you do not know what will happen, can save millions. I remember when a, 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 a teenage girl, she sent me a message in Paltok at that time. And she said, I don't know her. I have no idea who she. She said, if not you, I will be a Muslim. I was going to take Shahada next week. And she did not see my video, actually, which means it's not me, it was live. It was a video posted by somebody, but it was my video. So it is the one who posted the video is the one who received the blessing. He saved her, not me. Because if he did not pause the video, she did not see the video. 
So do something. Isn't it sad really to see such a kid? I assure you this kid is a nice kid. He's not a bad person. He's a victim. He's a victim of you and me and the family we have who teach nothing. The priests in our churches who go there and they do nothing except collect donations. And the second you talk about Islam, they don't want to talk about it. Go to a church, say the word Catholic in the Protestant church. Right away the priest will be excited. Go to a Catholic church, say the word Protestant. Right away the Catholic priest will be I mean, right away they will be ready to fight for the devil in their heart. Not God, not Jesus no more. Say Islam, suddenly they became, yeah, you know, cats. Oh, uh, we don't approve hate teaching here. Oh, okay. Hate teaching, why? How come you are so strong to attack each other? How come they are no Christian? And you say to them they are not Christian, and you they say to you are not Christian, and then the second we say Islam, they are the one who will go to heaven. For those are fraud. Those are not the priests. They are priests of the devil. They are the priest of the devil, and we are here to fight the devil. doesn't matter who is he. He is a priest. He claimed to be Christian. He claimed to be a Muslim. He claimed to be a Jew. He claimed to be a... It doesn't matter who is he. The devil is the devil, and he changed his format. The Lord, he says, be aware of false teachers who come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. And now Islam is taking the form of a sheep. Wow. He's taking the form of this sheep, Kim. Kim the sheep to convince the Korean, because Korean, they are nice people. Korean are beautiful people. They have a good quality. So how we can convince them that Islam is good? By lying to them. Islam treat women as diamond. When Islam beat women. When Islam treat women as a piece of garbage. As we showed you from the Quran. Quran is full of science when the Quran is the most horrible book when it's come to anything have to do with logic. I'm going to stop here. We will be in the quality of life in about 30 minutes from now. I will change the setting time for there. Actually, not 30 minutes. Let me make it longer because you know I need to walk a little bit. You know, sitting in the computer for long is not healthy. I want to say thank you guys for uh, for joining us. And again, let me post for you the link for the other broadcast so you can join us and you can uh, subscribe there if you did not. That channel, we don't talk about Islam. We talk about things that have nothing to do with the garbage of Muhammad and the garbage of the Shaitan Allah. We have nothing to do with this, you know, in that channel, with, with Satan teaching. And there we speak about everything good, no bad there at all. All right, so join us. We will be there soon. Uh, I think I will make it maybe, let us say, uh, uh, you know what? Let us make it, I will change it until the uh, morning of Indonesia time, which is going to be night in USA. This way I can have more rest. I'm not sure really. What do you think, guys? Change it to what time? I'm not sure what is best. Or maybe we can do it there tomorrow morning. Let us do it today. today. Okay, tomorrow morning we will be there, guys. Tomorrow morning I will change the timing. And you can check the timing very soon. Uh, and let me change the timing actually from now. Hold on. Again, I posted the link for you. So you can... <clears throat> Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you. Yeah, let us save. Let us save some souls. Let us let us do. Let us do the work. Let us not to be lazy. God is good, my friend. God is good. He provides us with many things. The internet which we have today is something we don't have. Not long time ago, I dream actually to make people leave Islam without going to Saudi Arabia and getting killed. Now we are doing it. And we have thousands and thousands of Muslims left Islam. But how we can accept that a child from us, he was lost. 
Why? Because simply we are not doing our job. So I will change the time for tomorrow and I will make it tomorrow morning. Let us see. Uh, I will make it. All right. Check the time, guys, on your side because they went on your side. Here we go. The link again. No, I will make it tomorrow, you know, so we can take a break from this. Same time, we give people time to rest from listening to me all those hours, uh, you know. And uh, all right, now it says that we will be live in 21 hours from now. 20 hour, 21 hours from now, which will be night time. Uh, okay, hold on, I made a mistake. Why 21 hours from now? That's not right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, actually, that's correct. 21 hours. Yeah, that will be. Yeah, correct. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be tomorrow morning for me, evening for you, those who live in Asia. And we will be in the quality of life account if you like to join us. And again, this is the link. All right. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And I will be waiting to see how many of you download the video, cut it pieces, add subtitle in your own language, whatever your language is. I really appreciate real Christian warriors. We do not need numbers. We don't care for numbers. We care for the quality. The Messiah have only 12, not 12 thousands, not 12 millions. Today, there is a 3 billion Christians, but numbers doesn't count. What count is equality? Because many they are fake, many they are names, many they do nothing. They come as nothing and they will leave as nothing, for they were nothing. You will remembered, you will be remembered for the work you do, not for a number you have. Otherwise, you are just a number. Remember that. And the one who's saying Christianity is false, his name is a blue dragon, that is showing me that you are an idiot. Because even the Quran says that Muhammad, if you have a doubt about you being a prophet, go and ask the Christians. So how we are false and your stupid God is asking the false to prove Muhammad is true. That means that your God himself is an idiot. Are you there, Mr. Blue Dragon? In a second, Mr. Blue Dragon will turn into a fly, fly a, a dragonfly. So you're a stupid God. Say to the Muhammad, if you are in doubt about what we sent to thee, go and ask the Christian who they are false. Obviously, your God is a stupid, my friend. Are you there, Mr. Dragon, or you will play dead now? Hmm? Dragon now is dead. He is not listening. He did not hear me. He is not there. He is not a dragon no more. He became lizard, the one who was blowing wind at Abraham to burn him. And we have to believe the story. Ah, you are the dragon lizard who want to burn Abraham by the... Have you ever heard of us? A... So we are false. And you are the one who tell the truth, believing that there is a lizard who was trying to burn Abraham. Dragon lizard, huh? Stupid idiot. And look, he played dead now. He is not there. Anyway, you made me excited. I thought I got a fish. It turned out I got a lizard, not a fish, sadly. Okay, dragon, change your name. Make it rabbit, maybe. Oh, you know what? You can make it a mosquito because I misquoted you. Mosquito. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you soon again. Uh, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and we prove it every day. Take care. Bye-bye.